Hello, my name is Gary Slack, and I'm excited to introduce you to National Healthcare Ed's Priority One educational program for hospital vendor employees. As you are already aware, healthcare is a challenging and demanding industry. Physicians, nurses, and other hospital staff work hard each day to save lives. They're ready to respond around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sometimes patients come with minor bumps and bruises, but oftentimes they have life-threatening injuries or illnesses. The number one goal is keeping patients safe in a healing environment. But the increasing number of healthcare associated infections jeopardizes that care. Construction and renovation projects are commonplace in healthcare facilities. But these projects can be a nightmare for hospital staff trying to do their jobs and for patients simply trying to get well. National Healthcare Ed offers new training called Priority One. Priority One is an educational program that we've created. It's an online version of a training, a competency training for the employees of the vendors that work in hospitals. Employees like uh, carpenters, electricians, uh, the plumbers, the ones that work in an area that's an occupied space where patients actually are right down the hall from where they're performing their job. Jack Rutledge is the founder of the Priority One Competency Training. He says many contractor employees have no idea they could impact a patient's ability to recover. The thought of Priority One came to us by way of vendors. We were conducting some training programs for the owners and managers of vendor companies, uh, Gary Slack and I, and after one of the programs, several vendors came up to me and they said, boy, I wish you guys would create a program to teach our employees because we know they just don't know what they're doing in healthcare, but we don't know how to train them. Contractors, when they perform their jobs in a hospital, can create dust. Dust can carry pathogens. Pathogens that can get in the air conveyance system can be carried down to a patient's room and a patient may be immunocompromised. It's a very big deal. Dr. Tom you know, Royer agrees. He's the former CEO of the Christus Health System and twice named one of the top 10 most powerful physician executives by Modern Physician Magazine. This is the most challenging time in healthcare that I've experienced. Obviously, these challenges are creating a lot of problems. According to a recent study by Johns Hopkins University, medical errors in healthcare are the third leading cause of death in America. It's behind cancer and heart disease, which is appalling. For the patients we serve, it can be a matter of life and death. The statistics are alarming. Everyone in healthcare must take action to prevent healthcare associated infections. Competencies for everyone in the healthcare environment is critical because we're not taking, we're not making refrigerators or cars. We're dealing with patients' lives and they turn their most precious gift over to us, their life, and therefore maintaining excellence for any of the people that work in the healthcare industry is an imperative. The Priority One training is essential for contractor employees working in all healthcare facilities. This includes hospitals, clinics, urgent care, private practices, surgery centers, and even long-term care facilities. We should make sure that everyone, both providers, vendors, everyone in healthcare is competent. And indeed, if they can't get to that competency level in an appropriate period of time with coaching and mentoring, they can't work in the healthcare environment. Construction and renovation projects can be loud and dirty. Two key factors in how patients rate hospitals are quietness and cleanliness. Poor ratings from patients may cause our healthcare facilities to lose money. That's because a portion of the Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements are now directly connected to patient satisfaction. The training covers these important topics. The pre-construction risk assessment. The role of the infection preventionist. The infection control risk assessment. Interim life safety measures. Security. HIPAA and even HCAPs. 
Healthcare is quite different than going into any sort of business establishment. There are issues with elevators, with parking, with smoking. There are unique regulations that apply. There are a number of things that they need to be aware of. National Healthcare Ed presents the training through a partnership with Calhoun Community College, recognized among the top community colleges in the country. You know, we were selected by them because uh, we are the flagship institution in the state of Alabama. We uh, have national, nationally certified uh, distance learning programs and uh, we have the capacity to be able to uh, handle uh, the demands of a, of a company like National Healthcare Ed. I am confident that through this brief introduction to the Priority One program, you have learned how valuable this training can be. It is important for vendor employees to understand their role in maintaining a safe healthcare environment for patients, visitors, and employees. Thank you for helping all of us at National Healthcare Ed make this program available to those who work in healthcare. Priority one, training contractor employees to work effectively and safely in a healthcare facility.